But this is the push I'm talking about here. So we have Evil Knight, we have Little Prince, and we have Evil Zap. And it's like, how is he going to be able to defend this? You know what I mean? Like, look, Tesla's gone, Dagger Duchess is out, and that's just probably going to be Tower Down. And that is the exact push I was talking about, and we got it in, in game one. What's up, gamers? It's Durkey here. And today we're going to be using one of the best decks in the meta, one of the most unique decks, decks as well, and that is Pekka Ram Rider. I know it sounds weird, but it's actually really good. Um, it's kind of one of those decks that emerged as a counterplay to a lot of the beatdown um, of the meta. So it's really, really good. I played a few games off stream, like before recording, just to figure out how to use it. And it's not like the most intuitive deck. Like it can be kind of confusing and like, it's kind of hard. You just want to kind of make it to double elixir, but then it's a really, really good deck. So I'm excited to show it off for you. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, and like I said, just nice to have something refreshing. You know what I mean? So the full deck is in the bottom left as you can go ahead and see it. And this deck, I can't remember if I already mentioned it, but it has the third highest win rate on out of all of the decks in Clash Royale right now. So really, really strong deck, really fun, um, and it's cool. Pekka is so versatile. After the balance changes to her, she just like fits inside of everything, which is really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Ram Rider here. On my Zap ready, and I'll just kind of cycle it. Honestly, I don't expect too much from it, but I'm just cycling here. Forced out a Knight from him as well. One of the, the dangerous pushes that you can make with this deck is if you go with an evil knight in front of a ram rider, it's like extremely effective. Okay, he pops the, the little prince ability. Bar barrel gets a good amount of value there. I'm gonna play my evil knight here. I was gonna try and save it, but I don't wanna take as much damage as they would have gotten. I mean, even then we took a lot of damage, but this is the push I'm talking about here. So we have evil knight, we have little prince, and we have evil zap, and it's like, how is he going to be able to defend this? You know what I mean? Like, look, Tesla's gone, Dagger Duchess is out, and that's just probably going to be Tower Down. And that is the exact push I was talking about, and we got it in, in game one. So you can see there, he overcommitted one time, and he's like, he basically lost his entire tower. So we just have to defend for another win it and another minute, and it's GG's. Okay. I didn't even have to use my P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A.'s just nice to have. It's interesting to have a deck that has, like, two tanks like this. Like, you have the Knight, and you have the P.E.K.K.A. Um, and I think that's just, that goes to show, like, how beatdown prominent that this meta is. It's like, you have a Knight, and you have a P.E.K.K.A. Okay, he goes for the Log. He also has a Poison. We want to keep that in mind. So, I'm going to go. I'm just going to Lightning this, actually. And we hit the Guardian, so that's huge. Okay, Knight is going to tank for a lot of those shots. We're going to go like this. He can afford to get a Tesla down. Yeah, that's fine. That's kind of what I expected, to be completely honest. We are going to support this P.E.K.K.A. a little bit with the Little Prince of our own. We're going to zap to keep our LP alive. I don't really expect anything from this push. It's more so to deter him and to force out Elixir on defense that he can't use on this push. So this push will be scary. Evo Knight uh, just kind of eats up the Dagger Duchess. So we're going to go like this here. Um, just to make sure it actually absorbs those shots. Go for a zap. Just for whatever reason, he's not breaking through the P.E.K.K.A. So a good first game. All it takes is one push. Uh, we'll take the dub. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, into our next match here against King J. And one of the reasons that I was excited to make a video on this deck, I was kind of drawn to it, is because it's really unique. Like, you don't see a lot of decks like this, you know, prior to the Dagger Duchess and prior to the P.E.K.K.A. nerf. It's like, you didn't see, like, this kind of hodgepodge beatdown deck. Like, it almost feels like it's like a unique homemade deck. And that's part of the reason I was drawn to it. So we're going to go like this, and you'll kind of see why this deck is really prominent in the meta, is because this deck that he's playing right now is the most popular deck in the game. It is the highest win rate deck. It's everywhere. It's Giant Elixir Pump Phoenix. And this is exactly why our deck has emerged as like a counterplay to this, this overused deck. I'm sick of seeing it. It has the Elixir Pump, the Bomber, the Night Witch, the Giant. And so that's why... Uh, our deck has kind of emerged as like a counterplay to this deck. So you're going to see in this game here why this deck is so good in the meta um, and why I think you should play it. All right, so we're going to cycle a zap here, just kind of get to our evo. And now we know what deck he has. If he goes for a pump, we can lightning it. I'm assuming, yeah, I was going to say, I'm assuming he has a pump. There it is. We're just going to wait a second and cycle a lightning. It's a negative one trade every time we do that, but we do get damage on the tower, and you can't afford to let this deck get, like, a massive elixir advantage. Okay, Phoenix comes down. He plays it in the opposite lane, which is interesting. Makes me think he might go in for a giant, so I'll probably drop... Yeah, okay, he failed the kite, but this is still a threatening push. I need to watch out for the Evo Berry, to be completely honest. So I'm going to P.E.K.K.A. like on the side, because I know he's tempted to go in for an Evo Berry. So if I put the P.E.K.K.A. like that, it's like hard for him to get a lineup. So that's kind of the main reason. 
Pekka kind of getting demolished here, but that's okay. We stopped their push and recycling to our evolution, so it's not a big deal. These little princes should cancel out. And I see zaps. Okay, he doesn't want a zap, so they're going to cancel out. We're going to go with a baby D here to help out with these bats and help out with the Night Witch. He's not back to a giant yet, so we're just going to kind of let it breathe. Okay, so he pumps up, so instead of lightning, instead of lightning, I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to go like this, and then maybe, yeah, I was going to say, he has to go for something, like, interesting here. And then now we do the delayed lightning on everything, and we're going to take the entire tower. And that's what I'm talking about, baby. Evil Knight uh, Ram Rider is so hard for these types of decks to stop. So that's a huge push right there, and that's going to be the game-winning push most likely. Even if he goes for a giant here, he's going to go for a big push. We're going to be ready. Yep, Pekka's just going to DPS this all down. This is exactly what we wanted. Look at that. Pekka just destroyed that entire push. And that's why you need to use this deck. If you're sick of losing to giant beatdown, it's like, boom, we just ate all of that up right there. Wasn't even, wasn't even difficult, to be completely honest. So we're going to go ahead, Lightning here, finish off the game. Good game to this guy. I'm sick of seeing this deck. Give my deck a try. <laughs> so GG's to King J. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. To our next match here against Mac. And uh, something else that is coming next season is a lot of balance changes. They're actually nerfing most of the evolutions. I made a YouTube short on it. And they're nerfing the Dagger Duchess as well. They're nerfing her hit points. Which is fair. She had way too many hit points to, to begin with. So this guy looks like he's running some sort of beatdown deck. It actually kind of looks like Elixir Golem, to be completely honest. Um, not 100% sure, but that's just what it looks like. And I'm going to do this just to make sure that Mother Witch gets taken care of. And we have a decent counter push here. Baby Dragon actually is such a tank. Like, he has so much more HP than you think. So you can see he's going to have to spend additional here. And I'm just going to go in here, mainly because the DD is out of uh, ammo. Okay, and Ram Rider's still going to connect, although... Uh, not, it's going to be easy for him to clean all of this up. I'm going to go for a knight to cycle to my evolution, and if he supports it, I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go for a little prince here. Cut my losses on the left side. And, uh... Just, like, so just defend the right side, essentially. Because there were four recruits on that side. There wasn't really a good way for me to defend all of that in single elixir. So, yeah, we're just going to go like this. And then bar barrel here to keep my LP popping. Look at him, look at him go. Look at little LP go. I feel like he needs a nerf, but I didn't see any changes to him on the balance changes sheet. Okay, we're gonna cycle a zap here. And like I said, with this deck, you're really just trying to survive till double elixir, and that's when things get a lot better for you. Okay, he goes for the recruits. Kind of expected. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to use my knight on defense here. Evil knight, very, very good. I expect him to go for wall breakers soon okay he does and i think i think we're gonna defend that like perfectly perfectly in the sense that we didn't take any damage and we have some nice split lane coming down evil knight is so good against the dagger duchess he needs all of the shots he doesn't have recruits back in hand just yet i'm gonna predictive evo zap something hopefully whatever he plays i mean he has to play something or he's gonna eat a ton of damage but he can't afford recruits right away so that was perfect baby d here and look at how much damage we got on that left side. He tries to pop the, the Skelly King ability, but nothing comes off. Amazing, amazing. That's all it took was one push. I'm going to pressure here, so if he goes in for uh, wall breakers, it won't really work out for him. Okay, and check out this lightning right here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, baby, a triple. We're absolutely demolishing this guy, and I'm here for it. Okay, we're going to P.E.K.K.A. And then we have Zap and Bar Barrel. Three spells in this deck. Super underrated. Okay. Mm, can't do a lot about this, can I? <laughs> all good, all good, all good. Uh, honestly, I'm just... I kind of wanted to be cheeky, but that left side's going down. We're going to lightning the right side as well. So, it was over before it started. So, GG's to that guy. Another pretty easy win. We'll take it and catch it in the next one. Into our next match here against Ha. And yeah, something else about this deck is it's a beatdown that has three spells, which is kind of interesting um part part of what makes it so strong is that it does have that triple spell feature the, la the other like the last time i could think of a beatdown deck that run triple spell was like giant beatdown with like arrow zap and fireball or arrow zap and bar barrel so it's cool to see something different you know okay we're gonna cycle a baby d in the back just to like pseudo support this knight as well to cycle 
firecracker comes down. I'm gonna let it go for now. Like, it'll probably DPS down my, um... Baby dragon, but that's okay. Come on, baby dragon. Get one shot. Get one shot. Ooh, okay. That firecracker is gonna... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say it's gonna go down, but... <sighs> she always lives, doesn't she? Dagger Dutch is gonna take care of both sides. Okay, he pumps up. Mm. When your opponent pumps up, you can do two things. You can punish... Uh, yeah, if you have a good hand and you think they have a bad hand, you can punish by going in for, like, bridge spam. Or you can just lightning the pump. When in doubt, like, if you're not sure if you can get a good punish off, just lightning the pump. It's fine. It's a negative one trade. It's not the end of the world. So in that situation, I wasn't sure if I could, like, spam the bridge and get away with it. So I opted to go for the pump punish. Okay, we're gonna go like this here. Um... Because he does go for that golem in the back. We're gonna try and at least get some retributions for that. Okay, Evil Berry comes down. We're gonna go with our LP here. And uh, we do get a lot of damage. And Pekka early. We want to DPS this down as quickly as possible. And then depending on what he plays, we could maybe go for a Lightning. I'm gonna go like this just to get this off the map. And then Zap onto the Berry to get it off the map. And that defense is pretty clean. Even though he popped the ability, like... I think LP is gonna take care of everything. Because if you look at the fire rate... Yes, and Little Prince we trust. Okay, so all in all, like, that was a really, 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 really good defense. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Save my Evo Knight. Mm, come on. Don't chain, don't chain. Come on, Little Prince. Come on, Little Prince. Good tornado by him. That was really, really smart. I'm going to do this because it's out of uh, shots. Ah, I was hoping to get the Ram Rider onto the tower. Okay, he goes for the pump now. So I think what I'm going to do... Let's do this. Save my P.E.K.K.A. Oh, great timing. Great timing. That's going to be tower down. Pretty sure there's nothing he can play that will stop this. Evil Zap's going to take care of the Firecracker. It's going to be tower down. I'm going to do this. Oh my god, and we hit the uh, Skelly King. Huge. He can't even get to my tower in time. So that was a good game against Golem. Um, Golem is pretty popular. All, all beatdown is pretty popular. Like, giant... Lava Hound and Golem. So if you're tired of losing to beatdown decks like I am, give this deck a try. GG's to this guy. We'll catch you in the next one. Into our next match here against Nova. Okay. We'll go ahead and cycle a zap. In terms of starting plays, any of your small spells you can cycle. You can also kind of get away with cycling your knight, which is interesting. But you can do it. Hmm. He does that. I'll go with the baby dragon. The knight is gonna hopefully eat a lot of these shots. Yeah, and then baby dragon is still menacing. Nice, yeah, it forced out an inferno tower from him, which is like, it's a lot of elixir, you know what I mean? That's the only thing about my deck is like, like look at my hand, what am I supposed to cycle? <laughs> like I don't wanna play anything into the inferno tower, so it's all good. We'll just cycle a little prince here. Interesting that a deck that runs Inferno Tower and Barry. I'm not 100% sure. I'll cycle a zap. And uh, I'm tempted to pop the Little Prince ability here. Okay, that makes more sense. Not going to help out on defense, so we are going to take a good amount of damage. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to pressure with all of this. And we have Evo Zap ready. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Evo Zap. Evo Zap with the Ram Rider is so good. And now this person's going to lose their entire tower. Just like that. That's all it took was one push against Goblin Drill. That's crazy. Look at it. Who can say where the tower went? But actually, rest in peace. And now we're up in Elixir. We have the Evo Knight in cycle. And now we can just... We're just going to bury this guy. No reg No regrets. I wouldn't be surprised if they gave up. They don't give up, so I admire that. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna do this, because I don't want those to take, like, my entire tower. <laughs> to be honest. Evo Knight's gonna go to work here. Even with all the stuff that he has down. Good job. Good Magic Archer by him, but what about the P.E.K.K.A.? But what about the Pekka? Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. And he's spending so much time defending, he can't even really go in for an offense. 
Okay, he's gonna go in for a drill here. Knight in front is like the best pre-drill placement. And then we can go like this. And then you can see the barrier actually doesn't connect with the tower because the barbed barrel was on the side. So that was like his big push and didn't really work out for him. We can go like this, and if he plays it directly in the back, we can pop the little Prince ability, and it's going to clean up the entire drill. So, really easy win against Goblin Drill. I mean, it's not that great of a matchup. It's decent, but he also played really poorly. So, we're going to clutch up with a nice little three count here, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. All right, into our next match against Ling Meng. Ling, something like that. Uh, uh, dog hair in my mouth. Okay. Okay, Drill comes down. We're going to go like this with the LP here. And honestly, sometimes I'd pop the ability, but I'm just going to let this do its thing. <laughs> okay, I should have popped the ability. Bruh. Okay, we're going to zap here. Okay, Goblin Drill. Pretty decent matchup for the most part, I would say. Oh, wow. My boy is going in. Bold strategy, Cotton. I mean... What was the... What was the, what was the strat? Was that like... Was that... What is he going to do now? Delivery that just gets eviscerated by the P.E.K.K.A. This, okay, that dude, this dude's crazy. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we'll, we'll take that damage all day, baby. And then we're going to go like this because he gave us a, a King Tower activation on a silver platter. I also meant to play my Zap there, but Little Prince works. So free King Tower activation. He spent a lot there. I'm going to pop the ability here. I'm ready for goblins. I feel like they're coming. There they are. Just to, like, make this push a little more menacing, you know? Wow, Little Prince is so good. Okay, so yeah, Goblin Drill. Honestly, if we can survive to double Elixir, and if we play around the Evo Bomber, we're going to be in a pretty good spot. Okay. P.E.K.K.A. does, like, okay in this matchup, but the Mighty Miner is, like, a really good answer to the P.E.K.K.A., so... I don't expect a lot from it. You might be able to sneak off a good lightning, like if he plays a Mighty Miner, I can lightning the berry. Oh, I'll take this. This is a good lightning right here, if we go like this. Beautiful. He was so not ready for that. I really like that play. That always works on me as well, that top ladder. is like, they don't expect the lightning, right? Like, they have the Tesla up, and it happens so fast, and you almost always get a connection. Uh, okay, we're going to get ready to defend here. I'm going to knight like this. Oh, he goes opposite lane. That's pretty smart, honestly. I'm not even going to lie. King Tower is going to help out immensely, though. Mm, I'm going to let that go. I don't think it's going to get that much damage. Might be fam famous last words for me, but I think we're okay. He can Tesla here. Probably will. Beautiful. We're going to actually DPS this down. Nice. Okay, he goes like that. And he still kind of has to defend, to be completely honest. Oh, I wish I would have popped the Little Prince ability. In hindsight, that's what I, I would have done. We're going to zap here, just so this gets onto the tower quicker. And I want to DPS this down so my Evil Knight lives, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, he goes into the lane where he has less damage. That's interesting to me. Baby Dragon actually gets on the tower. That's what I'm talking about. Baby Dragon is so underrated. Like, it's such a menace. Okay. That Evo Tesla has so much HP. Like, it lasts for so long. It's like, when that Evo Tesla is up at the bridge, you can't do anything. And it's really frustrating. So we're going to go like this now that Poison's out of hand here. And interesting Mighty Man Miner, because that baby dragon... Yeah, I'm just going to do this. And now he has to defend, right? He doesn't have the luxury of not defending. We're going to zap whatever he plays, get that Ram Rider on the tower. That's a good game. Another win against Goblin Drill. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, into our next match here against Toasty Rice. Run in the Dagger Duchess, and we're going to see what we can do here. I have both of my potential Evos in hand. I'm going to cycle to zap. He cycles goblins. Goblins usually means hog rider, but could mean a lot of things. Could be goblin drill. E spirit's interesting. Hmm, okay, okay. He's kind of just cycling cards as well. Some obviously has a, a quick cycle deck of some sort. I'm gonna actually support this because this can be kind of tricky for him to deal with. And I'm gonna lightning this. I just spent a ton of elixir, elixir here, but because he's running the Dagger Duchess, I can get away with it. Because a normal Princess Tower wouldn't struggle with that, but because the DD has to charge up, it actually forced out a ton of elixir from him. And we're going to keep the pressure up, because again, oh, because again, he has to recharge. And that's what I'm talking about. And we're just going to cycle a zap here. And look at that. That was like easy. It kind of looked like I was spamming, which I was. But it was also calculated because of his cycle and his tower troop. I wouldn't have just done that if I didn't really know what he was running. 
Okay, we're gonna have to get a really well-timed bar barrel here, like now. Beautiful. Decent. I actually probably should have played it later, and that's what I was talking about when I said well-timed, because if I didn't time it properly, I knew I was gonna eat a ton of damage. But that's okay. That was still really aggressive. He just spent eight elixir at the bridge, and everything we defended with gives us a counter push. That was kind of my goal, right? Was like, I wanted to get a counter push, and that's why I defended with troops. We're gonna do this here. We're gonna get a, a charge. Beautiful. And now he still has to spend on the baby dragon. Evil Zap is so clutch. And you can see we're mostly going to take their tower here. So really, really good start to this game. Uh, I know we took some damage with that graveyard, but we ended up getting the tower in return. So totally worth it here. We have our Evil Knight and Cycle as well. And um, yeah, we're just going to chill. Pekka doesn't really get a ton of value in this matchup, but that's okay. LP here. And I'm actually going to do this because I don't want that to tank for the graveyard. Finally, Pekka gets some value. I was going to say Pekka against the Evil Knight. Now we're talking. He gets a, a pretty good poison, if I'm being honest, but he still has to dispend, defend all of this counter push that's coming his way. Okay, I'm just going to let this go. It is it is going to defend. I will lightning the witch, though. I, I, I'm not a fan of the witch, uh, like for the counter push and all that. Oh, an evil knight again. We're going to block the bridge here. Go for a knight of our own. We're going to go zap. And we're Gucci. And we have a counter push that he basically ignored to make that last minute push. So even if he can somehow get a graveyard off, he's got a lot to defend. So good game against this graveyard player. Um, not necessarily like an amazing matchup for us, but we do have answers. Anytime you have three spells, it's really helpful against graveyards. So GG's to Toasty Rice. We'll take the dub. We'll catch you in the next video. Next game. Next game. Uh, next match against Seok CR. Possibly the last match of the video as well. We'll see. We'll see. Don't really have anything that I want to cycle, to be completely honest. Like, nothing in my hand is cheap or gets, like, value against his tower. So, I'll just cycle a bar barrel, like, in the back like this. It's not going to do anything at the bridge yet. He immediately cycles a mega minion. So, we're going to cycle a knight. <sighs> probably He's probably playing something pretty heavy as well. Mega minion usually means, like... I don't know. I mean, not usually means anything, but it could be like Golem or it could be Lava Hound or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> funny. Funny how that happens. So we're actually going to go in here because he spends a lot of Elixir. And I want to get some sort of damage. Zap ready if he has like a Skarmy. I'm not going to spend it on Barbs though. Barbs are out of my, uh, my price range. Little Prince early here to DPS this down. Oh, beautiful. And it's targeted onto the... Oh, oh, we gotta keep him alive. We gotta keep him alive at all costs. He's shooting the wrong thing, though. <laughs> Hopefully he can't afford to play anything. Okay, he does. So, well played. So, we're gonna eat a ton of damage here. Like, a ton of damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, tough, tough, tough. It was probably, like, it was probably too aggressive for me to go in in that situation, but... I don't know. I just had a lot of stuff down. So, not the best start against Lava Hound. We're gonna see what we can do. Anytime he goes for a lava, it's like we only have two cards that target air. I guess we have lava, we have um, Ram Rider as well, but it's just not great. We're gonna get our Evil Knight down. He also have, he has Evil Barbarians in hand, which uh, we don't have great answers for, to be completely honest. LP early just to force out something. Okay, he does that. Might have to lightning this. I don't know. Oh my gosh, it still gets a hit. Like, come on, man. Hey, Evil Knight did it get a good amount of damage, but definitely not enough, I'll tell you that. He still has those Evo Barbs in cycle as well. He's probably going to play them here. We're going to have our Evo Zap ready. Wow, we still get nothing from that. That's unfortunate. Holy moly. Oh, Evil Balloon went in front. Or Balloon went in front. That's definitely a mistake. Is it going to matter, though? No. Okay. 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 Wow, right, he just lets that go? That's kind of crazy to me. Oh! Oh! Oh!
That was one of the weirdest games of Clash Royale I ever played, but we'll take it, baby. A dub is a dub. We're going to take that dub, catch you in the outro. And that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Here is that deck one more time in case you want to take a screenshot and give it a try yourself. And let me know what you think about this deck, and I look forward to seeing you in another video real soon.